don't have to produce Drake's next big hit to make good money as a music producer. If you were to ask a hundred music producers about how they made their money, you'd get a huge variety of answers. So if you're a music producer, make sure you stay around for the whole of this video to find out about all the different ways that you can actually make money as a music producer in 2024. And at the end of this video, we're gonna look into three different successful music producers to see how they make their money. To start the list off, we've got beat sales, probably the most common ways producers know about to make money. With beat sales, money comes in through direct sales from beat stars, as well as people buying over Instagram for people who don't have beat stars. Majority of the time, these people coming to buy beats will be coming from a tight beat YouTube channel, which is one of the best ways to get traffic for your beats. Obviously, there is a lot more work to do to get beat sales and make good money, but these are the fundamentals of how it goes. It is a super common theme that we see among beginner and even experienced producers who just box themselves in the tight beat space and are just stuck there. This is mainly down to the fact that they have no education about how they can use their music skills to make more money, as well as lacking ambition. So make sure you don't get stuck here in this tight beat and beat sales box and watch this whole video to find out about all the other ways that you can make money as a music producer. The next way to make money with your music is collab sales. This is the next most common income stream for the majority of music producers in the online space, especially for sample makers. The money from collab sales comes in from beats sold on BeatStars, where you are added as a collaborator on a beat that is sold using your sample. And just like with beat sales, there are some niches where producers don't use BeatStars and they sell beats through Instagram. So sometimes producers will send you your cut on PayPal from a beat that is sold, not on BeatStars. The way to increase your collab sales is from putting out free sample packs onto YouTube, as well as growing a niche network of music producers that you can send your loops to in the hopes that they will sell beats using your loops. Our main income from 2023 was from collab sales and your income does keep growing the better you get at making loops and the more connections you build. It's safe to say we know a thing or two about making collab sales so if you're interested in this way of making money we have heaps of really valuable videos on our YouTube channel helping you out with collab sales. We'll link some videos down below. The third way you can make money as a music producer is by selling sound kits. These can be things like selling sample packs, multi kits, drum kits, and heaps of other things such as analog lab banks. Obviously, the way you make money from this is people coming onto your store and buying your products. And we've noticed from a couple people who do this very well, there's a couple things you need to do this successfully. The first thing is a big brand or a big following to advertise your products to. Secondly, you need a professional website to display your products and make them look as good as possible. And thirdly, you need high high quality products packed with value and a great offer that people will actually buy. There are heaps of producers and big music companies making big money off this and it is a super fun way to make music while making money. Somebody who has marketed these sound kits super well is Kavi, who we're gonna be looking into later on this video. The next way a lot of producers make money is through royalties. You get royalties by having your beats or loops placed on songs and then getting paid a percentage of the total money made from that song. There are two types of royalties that producers can earn. Publishing royalties split between the writers and composers of the song and master or mechanical royalties, a small percentage of the overall revenue produced by that song. If you land a song with an artist signed to a big record label, your master royalties is gonna be a smaller percentage. However, if they're an independent artist, you'll most likely get a way bigger cut of master royalties. We know someone who got a song placed with an independent artist that popped off, resulting in $25,000 in royalties from just that song, and it's still getting streams. Oftentimes, when you land a placement with an artist signed to a record label, you will also receive an upfront payment for your beat or loop as well as the royalties. This amount of money can range from the hundreds of dollars all the way up to the tens of thousands of dollars, but a realistic amount would be from about one to three thousand. Another way to make money as a music producer is through YouTube AdSense. And this is if you decide to build a YouTube following to help your brand. Unfortunately, unless you're Carl Beats, you won't realistically be able to live off the income from YouTube AdSense. However, AdSense is a great passive income stream to have on the side if you can reach the requirements, which is 4,000 watch hours in the last year and 1,000 subscribers. The path to getting AdSense can be a super long grind, so we wouldn't recommend you having this as your primary focus as a form of income. Treat this as a bonus income stream. The main way you'll be making money from your YouTube channel would be advertising your sample packs, your beats, and the things we've mentioned before. The next way to make money is through sponsorships and brand deals. The way that you get approached by companies to promote their products is usually by having a big YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram audience. Therefore, being able to market to a large amount of people. Companies will usually pay you an upfront payment for you to promote their product or give you an affiliate code that your audience can use when buying a product from them. So if you're a music producer that makes content and is growing your following, this is an opportunity that will arise down the line. We've been approached multiple times from different music companies to promote their products, but we've never accepted 
accepted any as we would only do a sponsored video if we truly believed in what we were promoting. This is the exact same advice we would give to you. Don't just sell out because you've been offered some money. Always put your audience first. A not so common income stream that you can also make money with from your big audience is with plugins. People like Kyle Beats, Ocean, and Jacob from Sourceware are examples of producers that have released paid plugins. Obviously, it is usually the big companies releasing these plugins. However, with a big brand and a big audience watching you, selling a high quality plugin could be a great idea. Most of the time, these people won't be building the plugins themselves, but they'll partner with a big plugin company to make it together. The eighth way to make money as a music producer is by having a weekly or monthly loop subscription service. The way this works is people will make a payment and receive loops either weekly, monthly, or yearly. There are people making a lot of money with this because their loops are in high demand. A perfect example of this is Nico Baran. He blew up on social media showcasing himself making loops and now he sells loops using the subscription based model. For an insight of how much money you can make off this, Nico Baran has three different subscriptions for his loops. One week is $55, one month is $100. $175 and a year is one and a half thousand dollars and because of the way he's been able to get attention on social media with his crazy unique loops he will definitely have buyers Moving in to our final three streams of income that you can make as a music producer. First is mentorship calls. This is not very common in the music space. However, it is definitely a stream of income that is tangible as an experienced music producer. You can sell your time at an hourly rate and teach things such as how to make beats and loops, how to sell beats, sell sample packs, play an instrument, or just be a general mentor for people on how to level up in the music industry. Mentorship is something that is super common in other areas of business. However, in the music industry it is something that is super overlooked a producer with lots of experience can help another producer save a lot of time effort and energy spent on the wrong things and guide them onto the right path Next, similar to mentorship, but you don't have to be trading your time for money, is selling courses. Creating a full guide or course on something you've mastered with music is a great way to make money and something that we've seen people do often. Word of advice, make sure you put genuine value and pack your course with source. This will help you to sell more copies of your course and will stop you from getting the reputation as being the course guy. The last stream of income is from sync placements. A sync placement is when your music is used on an advertisement, a TV show, or a movie. We don't know a whole lot about how to actually get sync placements, but we know there is a huge market for them. And it's definitely something that you can specialize in if you prefer that kind of music. We know of two producers who recently got a sync placement with Apple, and we'll be talking about that one soon. So there you have it, the 11 income streams that you can make money with as a music producer in 2024. To give you some context on how other producers are making money and what income streams they're getting, we're going to break down three different producers and see what's giving them their money from music. Let's start with Carby. And from what we know, he'll most likely be making money from these four income streams. Number one, selling his sound kits through his company, Sonics. Number two, his YouTube AdSense. Number three, collab sales, which used to be his biggest income stream until he started selling sound kits. And number four, royalties. Even though we don't know exactly how much he'll be making from all of the income streams combined, we can say with certainty that he'll be making a pretty good full-time income from all of those streams combined. Carby is a great example of someone who is always pushing to try new things, starting with beats and samples, trying to hustle for some beat stars sales, to now getting major placements and running a company selling music products. Next person is Carl Beats. You've probably also heard of as well. From what we know, Carl Beats will be making money from six different income streams. Number one, his AdSense from his YouTube videos. He's pulling crazy views on his YouTube videos, meaning he'll be making pretty good money off that. Number two, selling plugins such as Drip, which you've probably had an ad for sometime. Literally two clicks is perfect. <laughs> Number three, selling his drum kits and sound kits on his website. Number four, selling beats, which he also does on his website. Number five, getting royalties from his placements. And number six, his sponsorships for his YouTube videos. Carl Beats would definitely be doing well off with all of those income streams. The amount of views he's been getting on his YouTube videos will be attracting heaps of new eyes onto his channel, which will definitely be increasing his sales on everything on his website. Something we can learn from both Carvey and Carl Beats is that making money from your brand comes down to how much attention you can get. Attention equals the opportunity to make money. The last people we'll look at is a producer duo called Team Salute, who we found out about through another producer duo we met in London. The reason we mentioned these guys is because they recently got a song they produced used in the official iPhone 15 ad. We have no idea how much Apple pays for a song to be used in their ad, but it would definitely be a healthy amount. Apart from this recent sync placement they got, these guys have produced some sick songs, including the Afrobeat hit Drug Bar, which has over 100 million streams on Spotify. So the songs and all the other songs they've produced would definitely add up to a full-time income. 
What's super unique about being a music producer is that there are so many different ways to use your music to get paid. Even with the three producers we've just reviewed. They're all doing slightly unique things, but the underlying factor is they're all making music that people enjoy. Boys, that's it for today's video. We hope you've learned something. We hope we've inspired you about the possibilities of being a music producer and making money. Keep hustling. See you guys in the next one.